Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Android Authority. Now at the moment we have two major types of display technology in our smartphones. That's LCD, liquid crystal display, and OLED technology including AMOLED and that stands for organic light emitting diode. Now there is in the future a new technology coming called micro LED or micro LED. And this offers lots of benefits over OLED and LCD. So if you want to find out more about micro LED and what it means for smartphones of the future, please, let me explain. Let's start with a bit of context. LCD displays use a backlight that is shone through a matrix of liquid crystals that can be altered to let certain amounts of light through. And that is very good and well-known technology. And we have it in lots of things from laptops to smartphones and TVs. Its disadvantage for mobile is that the backlight is always on even when the screen is black which means that it's very hard to get those really deep uh, contrasts and deep blacks, and you are using sort of power on the display even when actually it's not displaying anything. And the other technology is OLED, that's organic light emitting diodes. So these are LEDs that use an organic compound, and they can be switched on and off individually, which means you get better blacks, you get better contrast, and it uses less power. Now, if you want to find out more about the details of both those types of displays, I have a video linked up here, which compares uh, OLED to IPS LCD, to retina displays and to infinity displays, and gives you kind of an understanding of all these different technologies and how they are used in our smartphones today. Now, micro LED uses the same technology as OLED. We're talking about light emitting diodes. We're not talking about a backlight with a kind of crystal matrix. We're talking about individual pixels that can be turned on and off. But as you guessed by the word micro, they are much smaller. And the reason they're much smaller is they are using inorganic compounds to produce the actual, the red, green, and the blue pixels. Now, micro LED technology has several advantages over current OLED technologies, including that the displays can actually be thinner. Because you no longer need a polarizing and an encapsulation layer, these are some of the layers that you find in the overall manufacture of OLED displays, it actually makes the overall display a lot thinner. But it's more than just thinner, because actually the way these LEDs work, because of this type of compound, this inorganic compound they're using, you actually need to use less battery life, less power is needed. In fact, some estimates say that a micro LED display uses 90% less power than an LCD display, and up to 50% less power than an OLED display. So here we're talking about significant power reductions in micro LED displays. And because micro LED displays use inorganic materials, they don't suffer from the same burning problems that you can get with OLED displays. And if you want to find out more about why you get burning and what happens with the blue pixels on OLED displays, I've got a video up here that talks all about it. So we've got uh, thinner displays and we've got less power and we've got no burning issues. These are all great advances that micro LEDs can give us. But there's also another big advantage because they are micro LEDs, you can pack more pixels into a smaller space. You get greater pixel density and so they'll be excellent for 4K and even for 8K displays. But of course, there is a catch and that is these micro LED displays are very hard to make. So for example, this year at CES, at CES 2018, Samsung demonstrated a big television, 146 inch television, which they called the wall, which was based on micro uh, LED technology. It was modular, it wasn't one big panel, it was several panels that they're able to stick together. And the problem is, is that Samsung was saying that the yields on even these big panels is actually very, very low. Now, there is a thing called the pitch, which is the distance between the pixels. Now, the pitch on these big displays was actually quite large, which is why they actually chose to make it a wall because you had to see it from far back. Now, you can imagine, of course, on a smartphone, you're seeing it with only just you know, a few centimeters away, so you need a very small pitch between the individual pixels. You don't want kind of black lines appearing. And as of yet, to make those micro LED displays with a small pitch and a high pixel density is still not commercially viable. Now, Samsung said at CES that they're expecting to see micro LED displays appearing within the next two to five years. Now, whether they meant just for televisions or whether they meant for televisions and for smartphones, I'm not sure, but you can certainly imagine this is gonna be a long-term investment from companies like Samsung. And in fact, it's not only Samsung that are involved in this. There are rumors that Apple are involved in micro LED displays, LG are involved in micro LED displays, and you can be sure that other companies are also researching and looking at this technology. 
And of course, as you can imagine, the first generation of these displays that come out are gonna be expensive. We're talking uh, low yields, we're talking new technology, and they're definitely gonna be what in high-end televisions and super ultra flagship smartphones. But of course, over the long term, the prices will come down, but we're talking five plus years before this starts to trickle down into kind of you know the mainstream. So as a quick summary, micro LED gives you the same advantages as uh, OLED. That includes the fact that each of the pixels can go on and off individually, it gives you those nice deep blacks, it gives you a good contrast ratio and a wide uh, color gamut. And you also get thinner displays, greater pixel density, and they use less battery life, up to 90% less than a standard LCD display. But unfortunately, they're hard to make, they aren't yet commercially viable, and when they do finally come out, they are definitely going to be expensive. However, ignoring the price and the consumer viability, I think as we look for the long term, it's gonna be interesting to see how micro uh, LED displays filter down into the mainstream and what that can mean for our smartphones in five, six, eight years from now. Maybe we're all gonna be carrying around 4K, 8K displays that use less battery life. Wouldn't that be great? So it's gonna be interesting to see uh, how this turns out. Okay, my name is Gary Sims and this is Android Authority. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, please let me know in the comments below, are you excited about micro LED technology? What it can mean for smartphones, for VR of the future? Also, please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share this video on social media. Okay, well that's about it. Please don't forget to go over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.